result of that superb javelin throw in the previous event of over 53 meters. and 469 points and Jane Fleming the defending champion a lot of people came here saying well nothing can beat Jane Fleming but Denise Lewis is heading her at the moment Catherine Bond Mills she's lying in third place Jennifer Kelly she's already completed her 800 meters down in sixth place and Emma Lindsay also ran in the last heat down in eighth So Denise Lewis, I wonder what she feels like right now. Now just thinking, two laps to go, and the points difference, which is 62 points at the moment, equates to five and a half seconds, and that means that Jane Fleming has to beat Denise Lewis by that time in order to retain the title that the Australian won back in 1990. Looks as though Bond Mills might be out of the hunt now for the gold. In fact, the difference 72 points, but uh, still the gap in terms of what this athlete here must do is to defeat Lewis by around about five and a half seconds. So it's not about who comes home first in this race. The top five competitors after six events all go in this heat of the 800 meters. Majumo Fletcher from Guyana. Got a personal best. Two minutes twenty. One second. Then Henry of New Zealand. fourth place over that's the full lineup Jane Fleming reigning champion Denise Lewis just outside her and Catherine Bond Mills who's lying in third place in the bronze medal position overall so 800 meters not a polar event with these have Catholic but as so And we find him major championship. It's a crucial one. That's not Jim. Fletcher, she started off yesterday running a very, very good 100 meter hurdle. Not a great shot putter. She lost points there, but she's back in the hunt for medals, although uh, it's a rather faint hope at the moment. Joanne Henry of New Zealand. She's uh, about 100 points down on Bond Mills. That's Jane Fleming, reigning Commonwealth champion in heptathlon and the long jump superb athlete over the years and she was rather shocked when the next athlete Denise Lewis popped out 53 meters in the javelin and that really changed the whole complexion of this competition and Catherine Bond Mills a great big cheer for her she looks as though she's safe in the bronze medal position, but a lot depends on what the New Zealander Joanne Henry does. Just to remind you that Birchfield Harriers won this heptathlon title back in 1986 through Judy Simpson. I don't think there's any doubt at all that Denise Lewis will be setting a lifetime best here today, but the big question mark, of course, is who gets gold and who gets silver.
some doubts about Jane Fleming's fitness before she came here, but uh, she's held her performances together well over the last few days. There is some tension down there on the track. Stars are actually keeping them rather a long time. Denise Lewis's 22nd birthday in just a couple of days' time. The fastest athlete, actually, for this 800 meters, Joanne Henry. Just to give you an indication, actually, two minutes, eight seconds is what Henry's personal best is, and that is a, a very good time indeed for two laps. Normally, we expect to see her athletes running somewhere between 2.10 and 2.20. And the points difference equating to the difference in personal best between Fleming and Lewis. So two grueling laps now for these athletes after two tremendous days of competition. Already, Joan Henry wearing the silver fern and the black vest and short from New Zealand. She really is striding ahead. And Fleming's just going to tuck in in third place. And Denise Lewis's tactics... Well, I think they have to be that she tracks Fleming. Juma Fletcher is a very good 800 meter runner as well. She's had an inspired two days. Bon Mills there just tucking in behind Fleming. And Denise Lewis, for the time being, just content with sitting in at the back. On paper, she's actually the slowest runner. But she mustn't let Fleming get too far away. Henry would have to run something very close to two minutes to have a chance of taking gold. Uh, that's really not an issue here, but look at this, Bon Mills coming up. Now, Bon Mills, the Canadian, number 301, is 110 points behind Fleming. That's a difference of some uh, 10 seconds or so. So, in theory, she could snatch away a silver. But it's looking good for Denise Lewis at the moment. Still Joanne Henry stretching out by about 15 metres. Bon Mills in second place. And this is a real great race between Jane Fleming and Denise Lewis. Now, Denise Lewis has to dig deep. She mustn't let Fleming get too far away. The gap at the moment is insignificant as far as the points are concerned. But now Fleming is beginning to stretch her leg. A real gutsy effort from the Australian. The gap, I suppose, at the minute, well, it's over a second, and it's stretching. Jane Fleming's putting in a tremendous first. Well, Joanne well, Henry well, looks well, as though she'll win this one. Now, come on, Denise. The gap is around about two or three seconds, but Joanne Henry's going to win this 800 metres. Jane Fleming is really pouring it on. We're going to have to watch for the time difference. That's Henry. Fleming goes now. There's Bond Mills. Come on. Come on, she's over the line, nearly out on her feet. And the time difference, just under five seconds. Well, dare I say it, unofficially, Denise Lewis will become the Commonwealth champion for heptathlon. But it was very, very close indeed. Well, the computers and the stats men will get to work very quickly. We'll try and give you a result as soon as we possibly can. But I tell you what, those last few strides for Denise Lewis were absolute agony. The official times are coming up on the scoreboard now. And Jane Fleming's was 2.13.07. Denise Lewis, 2.17.60. That's a difference of round about four and a half seconds. So I think Denise has done enough to take the Commonwealth Games gold medal. What a fantastic birthday present. Bon Mills there. She's had a great two days. I'm sure she'll take the bronze. But what a tremendous effort by the reigning champion. And the whole complexion changed with just two events to go. Denise Lewis was lying in third place. She rose to first. And look at this. So the official difference in terms of time... 4.53 seconds and I just wonder whether Jane Fleming knows whether she's won or lost 
and the emotion well it's pouring out now for the reigning champion Catherine Bond Mills has had a good two days Denise Lewis back on her feet and let's hope that when we hear the result that broad smile I'll tell you what it'll be staying there for a few hours yet if she gets the gold medal round her neck And just looking at her statistics, Denise Lewis has run a personal best by some three seconds. So that was a very gutsy run from her. And that means she's absolutely smashed a lifetime total. There's the difference officially. Joanne Henry, great run by the New Zealander, 211.72. Jane Fleming. Tremendous run from a great champion. 213.07. Von Mills in third place and Denise Lewis. With that fantastic person. Best in four. 217.0. 217.60. And Ajuma Fletcher in fifth place. 